okay wow I love that I love that combo oh my god she a little bad get her with the bag yeah. put it on the tab don't know how to act how you like that how you like that Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade, I make makeup tutorials, challenges, hauls, fun things like that. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button down below and join the family. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the video. So I've already applied my brows as I don't have any new brow products. I tend to just stick to the same products. So I used my soap brow and my Anastasia powder that I always use. Yeah, I've also applied my skincare. I did my moisturiser and the Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Skin Elixir. I really love the um, the dewiness it gives you. As you can see, I put it on the cheeks, on top of the basically all the highlight points. So basically, this is a mix of stuff I got for Christmas, stuff I recently picked up, or stuff I got sent in PR. So I have a few bits to show you guys. So we have a lot to go through. As you can see, I have. A box full and then some things on top and then another box full so i'm just going to go ahead and we can get started because this has been sitting in my room for like two three weeks now and um, so yeah let's get into the goodies i'm going to start with some of the things that i picked up from just my look so i needed a new cleanser and i wanted to try this because i heard it's um really good for sensitive skin and so far i've used it a few times and i really like it also picked up the Catrice Cosmetics True Skin Hydrating Foundation. I've been loving a super glowy look lately and this has been all over TikTok. So I thought I would pick it up. Um, it was super cheap as well. Um, and then I also got the matching concealer to go with that to also try. Everything that I buy now is because of TikTok. I watch too much TikTok. And lastly, from just my look, I picked up this brightening powder. I also seen this on TikTok. I'm going to go in with the Catrice Concealer just to prime the eyelids and then we can go on to eyeshadow. I've actually got Naked Tutorials palette. I put off buying palettes when this launched because I literally have no space. But my mum and dad got me this for my Christmas. So yeah, I'm also a huge Naked Tutorials fan. So it was really hard not to buy it. So I'm kind of glad they got me it for my Christmas. Um, so I'm going to have a play with that once I've primed the eyes with the concealer. So I got mine in the shade 02 Neutral Ivory. This is normally the kind of shade I go for. Anything that says neutral and like ivory. Um, the doe foot on this is super funky. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. So I'm going to go in with the super noisy. See, Naked Tutorials palette. Finally. I've been dying to use this palette. Like, you don't know how hard it's been not to just sit and play with half of these products but how cute is this packaging like how cool is that i actually have some products that um beauty boulevard kindly sent over so i'm going to show you guys them because i feel like there's some eye products in there as well basically i don't know if you guys have seen you might have seen this on tiktok actually um but a while ago there was these like glitter lips and they were trending um, so they kindly sent over to them, which looked like that. Um, they sent over a sparkling rose and a disco kiss me shade, which is like a silver shade. This looks like this. Um, I'm super excited to try these. I don't know if I'll try these in this video, but if I don't, there'll definitely be a TikTok and Instagram using these. Um, then they also sent a molten metal glitter eyeshadow, which looks like this I don't know if you guys can see because of all the reflection but um, it's basically I think it's silver is it silver? can't really tell I need to open it and see hold on a second guys I feel like I keep going off centre here so just ignore that if, if I do Cannot get it out of the box. Help. Um. So, liquid glitter. I feel like it's like a mix of gold and silver. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of like a mix of both. I don't even know if you guys 
we'll be able to see that. I don't think you guys will. But it looks like this. It's kind of a mix of gold and silver, which I'm not mad about. And also Euphoria. Is anybody also Euphoria is back? Has anybody else been watching it and obsessed? Um season two is so much more juicy. Um I've actually been obsessed. I feel like the makeup looks though are not as crazy as season one was, but I kinda expected that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started on the eye. So I'm basically going super basic because I don't have an idea of what I want to do. So I've just dusted the shade Plot Twist from the Naked Tutorials palette on the eyes. So this is like a super muted pastel blue shade. So I'm just running this on my whole eyelid pretty much. I'm just going to take the Matte Lashes Nudes palette. I recently got sent this over as well, just before Christmas. Um, but obviously, I have not been posting on here, so you guys have not seen this palette yet. Um, I've only used two shades in this palette, but it looks a little grubby right now. But you cannot help that with water-activated eyeliners. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to be taking this kind of deep shade here. So, as you can see, I did one eye off camera. And it's basically just random little shapes because lip print isn't perfect. So just go with the flow with it. But I'm just going to quickly show you guys how I do a few of them on this eye. I've kind of took it out to a point but I've not really. Um, I've just went with how it turned out. So I'm basically taking a super fine um, brush. Also you guys, how cute is this little mirror? It's from my friend um, Lisa's makeup brand. She sent that over in PR with some of her lashes that she's launching in February. So I'll link them down below for you guys to check out. But how cute. Basically, I just take the eyeliner and I'm just going to press down and it leaves like a funky little shape. And then I just kind of join it up. I'm just going to take the Blend and Snap, which is like this super pink shade, which is right here. And I'm just going to pat this in the areas where there is no colour. Um, it'll make sense once I show you guys, but I'm just taking that on a super small brush. Just in the little areas that there are gaps. And then I might need to go over with some eyeliner at the end again, just to re-intensify. The shade because obviously I've added the pink. So now that I have did the eyes basically I just need to touch up some things but I'll wait till my base and things are done. But um, yeah so basically I have two foundations but as you can see this one is super tanned. Um, I had to shade match this online um, and I didn't have a lot of shades left so I just picked up the closest that I could find to my shade but this will do me in like the summer and when I'm fake tanned. As right now, I'm not tanned or fake tanned. Um, but I'm going to go in with the Catrice Hydrating Foundation because this is a pretty good match. Um, and we're just going to buff it out. I didn't know how much to apply, so I'll start off with a little bit and then build up if I need to. But I feel like this is going to be enough. And honestly, I'm super proud of this foundation match like not even gonna lie i could probably use a little bit of fake tan but compared to the neck it actually matches um so yeah i'm just gonna buff this in don't forget the ears i can feel it is very hydrating um which i actually love i've been loving the i say i've been loving i've been loving it for years but the ordinary coverage foundation that is like a kind of hydrating 
pop feel coverage foundation um and this kind of feels similar it's a little bit heavier on the skin but it's still very hydrating so i'm just gonna go ahead off camera and blend this out because it's literally going to take forever um but so far so good i love the coverage um it's covered all my spots and it's not super like heavy on the skin which i love the coverage on this foundation is super um i wouldn't say full coverage but it's like medium to moldable um as you can see i have a huge pimple on my face and it's covered it pretty well if i do say so myself like there's no redness shown i don't know i feel like this could have the chance of sticking to dry patches just with how it's applied on my skin but then again i don't know I have super dry skin i'm pretty combo at the moment um but normally in the beginning winter months um i'm really dry so i might have to test that again in the winter but for now i feel like it's super full coverage and glowy and i'm obsessed next i'm going to take the be perfect cosmetics x jacqueline jossa um contour stick i also got this for christmas from my mum and dad and um, but how funky is this packaging how cool is that it literally reminds me of the the hourglass foundation sticks it's super cool i'm just going to take some of that on my cheeks oh i'm going to love this shade i always get so scared of um picking like contour shades online i could have went in store because they recently got one in glasgow so yeah i have been in the store before but i did not pick this up in store just pat my contour out because i placed it where i directly want it so patting it is better than rubbing also because it won't disrupt the foundation i have underneath so with the forehead i kind of do a patting and swiping just so it moves the product a little but doesn't remove the foundation i have on underneath i actually really like that contour stick i'm so fussy when it comes to contour shades because i don't like getting one that is too pale and like ashy but i also don't like getting one that's too warm so i feel like that's just a perfect blend of cool and warm which i love i like it I like it a lot it blended super easy as well which i mean if you can get a product that literally takes zero effort i'm all for it so i'm just going to go ahead and stop yapping and go off camera finish this and then i also got some new blush and um, shades to try out so i'm going to blend this out and then we can get on it then you guys know i'm obsessed with blush by mitchell so i got some new shades at christmas so i'm going to show you guys my mom and dad got me some more shades and um, so one is in the shade mango daiquiri and one is in where's the spf so i think i'm going to mix mango daiquiri and the posy rosy shade that i already have in my collection just because we have some pink on the eyes i want it, i don't want it to be too orange or too red as where's the spf is a super red shade and mango daiquiri is a orange a little bit of that I'll put a little bit on the nose i'm also going to take the mango daiquiri shade and just put a touch on that and then we can blend it out i also got one of mitchell's um little sponges and it's neon green how cute is that so i'm just going to spray some setting spray in that okay wow i love that i love that combo oh my god how pretty is that okay obsessed wow 
I actually adore that. I'm just taking this Catrice concealer. I'm going to do one eye at a time just in case it dries quickly. I don't know what was happening with my eye the other. The other? I don't know what was going on with my eye earlier, but that concealer did not apply as nice as it has on the under eye. But it applied fine on that eye. I don't know if I've just got a dry eye, but I really like that concealer. So far, so good with the Catrice concealer. I'm a fan. It's not too drying under the under eye as well, and it's super lightweight. Like I can't feel it, and I hate concealers that are like super heavy on your under eye, especially because I like to go over various areas of my face with concealer. Um. So yeah, Catrice concealer. It's a yes from me. Um, it was super cheap as well. I think this was literally four pound something. Um, from just my look. Also, um, so definitely check that out. I did not know. Um, just my look stocked Catrice because I believe it's a US brand, but they stock it. So go check them out. Okay, guys. So now that the concealer is applied, I need to set my under eyes. So I literally just ordered these yesterday, and they came today. But it's these little powder puffs. Um, I've used powder puff for years, but I did not know they had um triangle ones. I actually seen this on TikTok again. I know I'm obsessed with TikTok. Um, but yeah. So you get a pack off of Amazon. I think there's there's twelve in a pack. So you get purple, white, cream, and black. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna apply that my powder with these, and yeah, these are super soft as well. Um, I don't know if it was these ones I seen on TikTok or I believe there's a specific brand that sells these but they're just black ones but I thought I'd give them a bash off of Amazon because I'm obsessed with Amazon so if I try the Amazon ones and I like them then it's easier and handier for me to use. Um, but yeah I feel like hopefully these are not too hard to wash because I feel like they're going to get dirty very easy. I'm now just going to go in with my friend Lisa's eyelash brand. Um, she actually launches on February 1st I believe. But how cute is this packaging? And I also love that she has the name on the top of the lashes. So when they're sitting in your drawer, you can automatically see what the shade is. What the shade, what the number, style is. Because I have such a horrible time, especially with lashes. A lot of brands they don't put the name on the top so when they're stacked in your drawer you can't see what they are and it's a whole path um but yeah these are in the style e1 which look like this i hope you guys can see that as you can see the eyelashes are applied um i absolutely love this style i always feel like see when i do like super crazy looks and you put a pop on an eyelash sometimes and it just takes away from the whole look but these are like your own eyelashes but better if that makes sense Um, I just love them I feel like these are going to be my go-to eyelash for like when I do crazy looks and I want to pop on a lash but I don't want it to take away from the look I can easily just pop them on they're super lightweight Um, I'll just zoom you guys in how amazing are they like oh my god I'm in love I'm actually in love. I also just realised I did have a new mascara to try. Um, Primark. I actually sent this over like a month or two ago. Um, but yeah, I've heard a lot of good things. Um, so I'll definitely need to try that in the next video. But I just realised that I think I've been looking at the viewfinder the whole time. Um, it's my first time back since, you know, last year. So if you catch me looking back and forward, that's why. I'm sorry. And hopefully by the next video I won't be looking at my viewfinder so much. Um, but yeah, little like wine lip tints. Hold on, I'll open one and show you guys. This is them. They basically went viral a couple of months ago on TikTok and I believe it was Michaela that I seen um, try these out. But they reached out to me and wanted to send me all the shades that they have. Okay guys, so as you can see, I've just applied my lip liner off camera. Um, but I'm just going to go in with the wine tint and the shade RD02. I do not know how to pronounce that shade. But 
RD02. So it's like a deep um, red shade, I believe. Hmm. Okay, that is the vibe. I'm just going to set my face with the Revolution Super Fix, which I always use. Just to bring the hydration back into my face because um, I've actually not been using highlighter at the moment um, and I don't feel like I need it with this vibe either so I'm just going to keep it as it is um, but yeah guys all of these products that I've used today I'm actually obsessed with like I know I'm going to probably hate myself when I'm editing this but I actually love all of the products that I've tried today um, yeah, I mean, my skin, I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but I like what I'm seeing. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I'm in love with every single product that I used. Um, yeah, because my base looks absolutely stunning. I cannot wait to go to pictures and little videos and things. Um, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, but if you guys see anything in this video that attracts your eye, definitely let me know in the comments if you try it out, I would love to know, but this video is not like a product recommendations, it was just a first impressions of all, all of these, so my opinion might change in the future, but I'm sure I'll keep you guys updated on what I end up loving the most. Also you guys, I have to show you this, but how cute is my Pixie Glow Sonic. I don't even know if you really see it, but Pixie personalised it. How cute is that? Um, so it has my name on it. It literally sits on my vanity because it's too cute not to. Um, yeah, and obviously I use it every night, so having it on my vanity makes a whole lot of sense. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.